Hi fellas, beer review tonight. Been meaning to this one for a, quite a while. It's a chocolate marble, coffee licorice, a Manchester brewery. So I thought uh, I'd give a bit of review on this one. Um, picked up a local garden centre, not seen this one in supermarkets. We can guess it or not, I'm not so sure. So we've got chocolate marble, coffee licorice, bottle conditioned beer. Produce some marble standards, alcohol 5.5%, so it's quite a reasonable strength, not too overpowering. Um, read a bit there and go through it. Okay. Bottle condition beer, produced and bottled by Marble Brewery, Manchester, England. I think it's one of these uh, Nouveau breweries that's popped up the last few years. Store upright, uh, serve cool but not chilled. Why not just put a a temperature on wants it to serve rather than just there uh, let you guess pour slowly to leave any sediment in the bottle it contains wheat and barley and um, that's about it 5.5 percent www.marblebeers.com found a milliliters uh, straight away one of those um, labels that the home brewers hate because it, one of those like a plastic film and um, Cut your labels off, love the money, and if you do, there's like a sticky film underneath. Um, I couldn't find the date anywhere on it until I uh, looked underneath, and it says best before the end of December 15, and it's Brew 971. That's all we know. Um, no mention of hops in there, anything. Um, why more breweries don't put what they've gone into it, it's not a mystery. Um, yeah, serve as it said there. Serve cool but not chilled. Now, um, I have a little book here showing some before. Let's tell me all about beer by a lady called Melissa Cole, who really knows the stuff. And it says lightly chilled, 8 to 12 degrees Celsius, 45 to 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Farmhouse ale, wheat beer, golden blonde, pale, and other British style bitter. Cellar temperature, which we're aiming for, um, 12 to 14 degrees Celsius, 54 to 57 degrees Fahrenheit, quite a small window. Porter Stout, mild, wild ale and triple. So uh, yeah, looking for that. Between 12 and 14. Have my uh, trusty thermometer there. Let's uh, see if we can get a reading on this. I'll try to show you. It has been in my um, conditioning fridge, so let's give it a go. Pick up on there. Try to get a light on there. See what's short. Yeah, not too bad that, 14 degrees Celsius. So uh, yeah, right uh, where we want it. Let's get it open. What's this uh, the can of smoke, not overly. Oh, what's going on? Dark is like straight away. Not much of carbonation. Don't too uh, overly carbonated for a stout. Oh, it's pouring nice now. That's uh, not too aggressive. Um, not as dark as a stout to me. It looks more like a brown ale slash red ale. Um, and a half head space on that. Um, mostly tight. Um, say more khaki than uh, white. Um, so a sniff. Coffee straight away there. Um, little bit of chocolate, not overly. Not much on the uh, licorice as it says. Um, paint smaller hops, no idea what they are. I'd imagine it's something like Fuggles, Eve Kent Golden, something like that, English hop. But uh, why more of these brewers don't put on, you know, what's going on in the beers? Is it a mystery? But it shouldn't be, and if they're doing these beers regularly, they, they, you know, they must be repeating the recipe, you know. What's the uh, harm in 
No, so the, the exact quantities, um, the boil rates, anything like that, is a bit of a clue. So uh, we'll dive in and cheers. Liquor's on the side straight away. Um, sweetness in there. Um, I wonder if you use lactose sugar in there because for a stout it's a bit of sweetness on the front. Um, it's holding its head there. Lacing's looking good. Um, yeah, so uh, dive in and look again. If anything, I would say it's a medium body, medium, very very slightly to heavy. Um, session one. Very very slightly over carbonated for a style of beer I thought. Um, not smooth at all, it's quite a, a rough beer. Um, whether it's meant to taste like that I don't know. Uh, is it a beer to buy again? Yeah, it's quite a decent beer. Um, We'll just try something else on draft, not seeing it where I've been, I dare say in certain parts of Manchester you might get it on draft and it, I dare say on draft it was a bit smoother. Pardon me, carbonation attack. To me, um, what would I change to improve it? Um, if I could improve it, I'm not no expert by any stretch. Um, slight tone down on the carbonation. You could have put something in there like a, a terrified wheat flake bar or something like that just to just you know give the head rotation without too much um, carbonation. Overall, um, I think that bottle cost me £2.95, which is not too bad. Um, okay, so you want to put, pay £3 a pint, it's not, uh, it's not too much. Yes, yeah, so you see that guys, um, I'd recommend that one. So it's the chocolate marble coffee licorice from Marble Brewery, Manchester, England. Um, bottle condition as you say. So if you wanted to, get a couple of those. If you want to do a stout, you could cultivate the yeast in the bottom of this because it says it's bottle condition, might be a great uh, idea. Three or four of those, enjoy your beers, and you've got the yeast for free. So, um, you know, saving like seven or eight pound um, on liquid yeast, you can't go wrong. So, cheers, guys! Thanks for watching, thanks for all the new subscribers, and uh, enjoy the rest of the weekend. And I'll catch you later.